For the past seven years, there have been between 10 to 12 bowls played on December 31st and January 1st. However, the new college football playoff system will make a few changes. I'm Antonieta Collins, joined by ESPN College football reporter Brett McMurphy. Now, Brett, most of the changes will take place on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. What kind of changes can we expect? Well, like you mentioned, there were, used to be a, a whole uh, mess of bowl games on those two days, up to, up to 12 games. Uh, just a few years ago, but with the new college football playoffs, they're moving a lot of those games off of those days. Uh, the, the Sun Bowl and the Liberty Bowl, which is, they've both been fixtures on December 31st. They're moving to new dates. Uh, the Heart of Dallas Bowl and Gator Bowl that were on January 1st last year, they're both moving off those dates. So basically on December 31st, just going to have three of the bowls that are affiliated with the college football playoffs. PTS and the Orange Bowl, they will run one after another on December 31st. And then January 1st, uh, the Outback and the Capital One Bowl are the only two bowls not affiliated with the college football playoff bowl that are remaining on January 1st. Those two will kick off early on January 1st. The times are not set, but I've been told it'll probably be around 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The Cotton Bowl will kick off around that time. And then at the conclusion of the Cotton Bowl, you'll see the Rose Bowl kick off about 5 o'clock and then followed by the Sugar Bowl. And obviously the biggest difference is the Rose Bowl and the Sugar Bowl will be semifinals for the college football playoffs with the championship game the following Monday on January 12th from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. January 1st is seen as the biggest day in college football. Will this devalue the day for college football fans? You know, I don't know. I got when I put it on Twitter, I got mis mixed reactions. A lot of people, uh, you know, don't like it that there's fewer choices, if you will. You know, if one of these games is a blowout, there's not another game to turn to. But I think most hardcore fans like it because they felt like when there were so many bowls going on at the same time. I mean, sometimes you had up to three games going on at the same time. You know, if, you, if you're invested in all three games, you're a fan of the conferences, or you're just a college football fan, it's really tough to keep up with all three. So now that they're kind of, you know, spread apart, at least on these two key days, um, you know, I think it'll it'll be better for college football. But certainly if, if the games get out of hand, uh, you know, and it's a blowout situation, there won't be any college football alternatives because some people may not like that. What's still to be determined and unknown, you know, there's in total there's 39 bowl games, so we're only talking about eight of them. So where are they going to put the other 30 or so bowl games? It could get pretty crowded on some of these other days, but at least December 31st and January 1st, uh, it will be a lot more less cluttered, if you will. ESPN College Football Reporter Brett McMurphy with the insight and for the latest college football news. Make sure to stay right here on ESPN.com. I'm Antonieta Collins with your ESPN Headline.